Alright guys, hi there, we are today we are going to make a circumcenter for an acute triangle. <sighs> so let's get on with this, shall we? So first we need to make the triangle, so we'll put point A, point B, and point C. All of them are acute angles, of course. And so uh, now we have to put the midpoints for each line that make up the triangles for we have to find the midpoint for a b b c and c a we have a neat tool for that which is right here so then we make the midpoints so i have midpoint d for a b e for b c and f for c a now we have to make the line that goes through point d and creates a purpose and creates a right triangle or a perpendicular bisector. And so we're going to go right here, we're going to perpendicular line, make the lines. And now we have the perpendicular bisectors. Now, since this is a perpendicular bisector to line AB, this would then mean that both the lines that has been, the line that has been bisected will be split into two congruent lines. So AD and DB, since D is in the point of AB, AD and DB would be congruent. So let's do that right there. This would also mean that the angle right here and right here would be 90 degrees, meaning it would be a right angle. So there you go. So let's do this for the, for the rest of them. Not the pest drawer. And so now that we've labeled this, we also found the circumcenter because the circumcenter is the point of concurrency or the intersection of three lines of the perpendicular bisectors, which is right here, right here, and right here. Where, where, F, where line F, D, and E intersect. And so then that's called the circumcenter. So now that we've found the circumcenter, which is right there, if you can't see it, it's right there, circumcenter of an acute triangle. And that's about it. See ya.